The royal court announced that His Majesty the King, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, will be at the airport to welcome the King of Morocco, His Majesty Mohammed VI, who will arrive in Bahrain tomorrow, Monday. The Moroccan monarch is expected to hold talks with His Majesty the King on the fraternal, historic, and distinguished relations between the two countries and people, in addition to regional Arab and international issues in matters of common concern. The royal court wishes the country's guests a pleasant stay in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today a number of royal family members and senior officials in the presence of Sudan's ambassador to the kingdom. His Royal Highness called on Bahrainis to join hands to maintain the kingdom's security and stability. He expressed his rejection of any foreign interference and said that Bahrain had overcome many challenges facing the country thanks to the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the government. His Royal Highness also stressed the need for enhanced cooperation between the GCC countries to confront all kinds of interference threatening their security and stability. His Royal Highness praised the role of Saudi Arabia in protecting Arab and Islamic nations and facing all challenges under the leadership of the custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness then praised the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Sudan, lauding the bilateral relations and the efforts of the ambassador. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadibiya Palace a number of press and media personnel and the board of directors of the Bahrain Journalists Association. His Royal Highness hailed the contribution of the national press in enriching the kingdom's intellectual and cultural movement and affirmed the importance of unifying stances to confront the challenges it currently faces. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister called for united efforts to support the kingdom's press and media sectors. He also urged journalists and editors to play their part in enhancing a society's cohesion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed appreciation for the enlightened role of Bahraini press and media personnel and urged them to use freedom of expression in a way that will help to support social cohesion and unity. For his part, the chairman of the Bahrain Journalists Association expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his unwavering support of the press and media field. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadibiya Palace the Chairman of the Bahrain Medical Association Dr. Mohammed Abdullah Rafia and the new board member of the BMA congratulating them on gaining the trust of Bahraini medical staff to lead the association. 
His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of supporting the government's efforts to provide specialized medical staff in various medical fields and to enhance communication between national and international medical practitioners to help develop the kingdom's medical sector. His Royal Highness noted the advanced level of medicine in the kingdom thanks to the keenness of medical staff to provide Bahraini citizens with the best health services. His Royal Highness said the kingdom would uh, provide constant support to the medical field regardless of the current economic situation. For his part, the BMA chairman expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continued support and for his directives that aim to develop Bahrain's medical field at all levels. His Royal Highness, the current Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, the EDB, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired today's EDB meeting at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the important role of Bahrain's non-oil sector in boosting the kingdom's economic growth and in creating more job opportunities. His Royal Highness said that 95% of last year's economic growth was generated by non-oil sectors. He affirmed the importance of supporting all efforts to enhance such vital sectors. His Royal Highness said investors must be provided with all their, all their needs and requirements in order to achieve the targeted economic growth. The chief executive of the EDB, Khaled Romehi, briefed the attendees on the EDB's achievements over the current real year, as well as the board's plan and strategies regarding its upcoming participation in the World Economic Forum meetings. His Royal Highness, the current Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Rafah Palace the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness congratulated Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid on his appointment as Deputy Chairman and wished him success in performing his duties and achieving further progress. He lauded the Council's role and strategies in preserving and protecting the environment. He stressed the need for more efforts to achieve sustainable development under the wise vision vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness praised the capabilities of young Bahrainis in all fields, especially environmental, which had yielded positive results for the kingdom both regionally and internationally. He highlighted the role of Bahrain in environmental issues through cooperation with international organizations such as the Climate Agreement that includes 165 countries. Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa thanked His Royal Highness and affirmed his readiness to exert every effort to achieve progress in this field. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the 17th batch of students on the Crown Prince's International Scholarship Program and their parents at Rafah Palace today. His Royal Highness congratulated them, praising their high standards and commending the role of their parents in encouraging them and providing them with a suitable environment. He praised the performance and success of current and previous students, which motivates further progress. His Royal Highness expressed appreciation to national and institutions and organizations for supporting the program and enhancing its reputation. He wished the students success and beneficial experiences in the coming phase, which would open new opportunities and challenges. His Royal Highness also praised the program's organizing committee and their cooperation and coordination with international universities, including the process of selecting the students.
The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was selected as the Arab Knight for Giving at the 4th Arab Giving Forum, hosted by the Kingdom under the patronage of the Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Ali Hamidan. The minister expressed his congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and lauded His Highness's numerous efforts in the charitable and humanitarian fields. In other news, Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh chaired the, the weekly meeting today. The council discussed a report by the Committee of Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security on amending decree by Law 70 of 2014 regarding approval of the Kingdom's joint, uh, joining the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women, the CEDAW Agreement.